In just a few days, we're going to hit the new year, January 1st, 2024, and many of you living in the state of Illinois who have not registered your firearms uh, are going to be felons in the eyes of the Illinois law, which is illegal, by the way. What they're doing is against the law, but, you know, well, who am I to say? Now, what this video is about is that obviously myself and many others around this country, as we see not just Illinois, but D.C. and 13 other states, they're all banning these particular guns. And it's making its way through the different state courts and the different federal courts and the appeals courts because obviously um, gun companies, gun lovers, pro-Second Amendment organizations, they're all fighting this right and left in, in as many courts will take it. Well, this case in Illinois actually finally made it to the front door of the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court refused to take this case, leaving it up to the lower courts, which have all said that this uncon highly unconstitutional act done by the state of Illinois is now constitutional in their eyes. And they're saying that it is legal for them to do that. And the Supreme Court is not going to address it at all. They're actually refusing to take this case, refusing to protect the Second Amendment. Because when the federal government sees that take place, what do you think the next steps are? Uh, because, you know, as we saw the last firearm ban come and go, there's a new one coming through. There's a brand new gun ban. And it, it it's not banning certain guns, it's banning how they produce guns. Meaning they're not going to know this new one that's coming. And watch it, we'll be talking about this in the next few weeks. The new federal gun ban that will be going through Congress, uh, what we're going to see is they're not going to ban the guns. They're going to insist that any future guns of those types, which is any gun that is semi-automatic and has a magazine, that they be produced with a fixed 10 round magazine. They, they, they're saying, though, you can still buy these guns. They just have to have a fixed 10 round magazine that you load one bullet at a time from the top. This is a huge problem. Uh, and again, we'll talk about that next time, but that's why the federal government is eyeing these things because they're seeing Illinois get away from it, DC get away with it, they're seeing California get away with it, Washington get away with it, New York, Jersey, on and on and on. It's ridiculous. And the Supreme Court just kind of turns their head and pretends it doesn't exist, which is one of the worst things they can do. Uh, you know, it's better for them just to come up and say, hey, we don't support the Second Amendment. Let me show you then just to kind of turn a blind eye and leave us fending for ourselves against these extremely unconstitutional federal judges that Illinois and California and Washington and D.C. are all dealing with. Uh, this is appalling that the Supreme Court has refused this case and left it up to the lower courts. It is absolutely appalling because all that means is more unconstitutional gun bans coming. And again, am I in that one that's going to be going through Congress that has nothing to do with banning guns? It's just changing the way any future guns are produced. So uh, there you go. Any thoughts or insight on any of that, definitely put it below. Would like to take a moment, say most people watch this channel, they're not subscribers to the channel. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. Never hesitate to send that stuff in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. <laughs>